This tutorial will show you how to create with CoSpaces EDU. First things first. In your CoSpaces EDU account, go to CoSpaces. This is where all your creations are stored. You can start by exploring the welcome CoSpace to get familiar with the basics. A CoSpace is a creation or project in CoSpaces EDU. Think about what you'd like to create first. Is it a virtual tour? A story? A game? In our example, we'll be creating a virtual exhibition about animals. To start building your first co-space, click Create Co-space. Your first step is to choose a first scene to build in. You'll be able to add more later. You can build in a 3D environment of your choice and view it in VR and AR. You can also build upon a 360-degree image that you choose and view it in VR. If you have the Merge Cube add-on, you can also create for the Merge Cube. To learn more about this, watch the Merge Cube add-on tutorial. Let's create our first scene in a 3D environment. When you start in an empty scene, you build from scratch on a large canvas with a grid. Let's pick a nice surrounding environment for our virtual exhibition. Go to the Environment tab and choose one of the 3D environments available. On a desktop, you can rotate your scene by holding down the left mouse button and moving your mouse. Zoom in and out of your scene by using the mouse wheel. To move in your scene, hold down the spacebar, click and drag. Check out our other tutorials to learn more on navigating your co-spaces on different devices. Open the CoSpaces library to get 3D objects and browse through the categories to find an object you like. Let's use this elephant for our virtual exhibition. Simply drag and drop it into your scene. Every object can be moved, rotated and resized. Elephants are very big, so let's scale it up. Click on the elephant to open the object controls. Click here and drag upwards to scale your object. And click here to rotate it. Right-click or double-click the object for more options. Click Material to change the color of your object. Click Animation to animate it with ready-to-use animations. You can model anything using the building blocks available in the library's building category. Since we're creating an exhibition, let's place our animals on platforms. To build our first platform, we can use the cuboid building block. Building blocks have advanced controls that let you change their shape and size. Double-click or right-click on a building block to define its color. Some building blocks even have a texture that you can change. We need a platform for the bear too, so let's just make a copy of this one. To do this, double or right-click it and select Duplicate. You can also hold down Alt on your keyboard and drag the object. Raise your objects to place them onto the platform. You may find it tricky to get the elephant to stand exactly on the platform. This can be done more easily by attaching the elephant to the top of the platform. To do this, open the elephant's object inspector and select Attach. You'll see blue dots appearing all over your object. Click on one of the dots to attach your object there. Are your objects getting snapped to the grid of your scene instead of moving smoothly? This is enabled by a tool called Snapping. Click Snapping to change the positions to which your object will snap or to turn it off. Your objects can now be moved and rotated smoothly. Let's now add some descriptions for each of the animals in the exhibition. A good way to do this is by using the text panel available in the building category. Right-click or double-click to enter your text. Let's have some visitors attend our little exhibition. Add some people from the library's characters category. Characters have even more options that let you change their colors however you like. Try to make one of them look like yourself if you want to. What might they be thinking about this exhibition? Click on Speech to add speech and thought bubbles to your objects. Let's dive deeper into the building category. Building blocks allow us to create useful structures such as walls and pillars. 
The cylinder, the cone frustum, and the frustum four sides can be used to build pillars for the museum's entrance. Let's group these different building blocks together. To do this, right-click and draw a box to multi-select your objects and click Group. Keep in mind that you can copy the objects you create, so you don't have to rebuild them. Activating the snapping will help you build and place walls more easily. Once you've added a floor, click Lock to avoid moving it accidentally when creating. You can also create with various external files that you upload to CoSpaces EDU. In Upload, click Images and upload a file from your computer or use the image search. You can also change your type of search to GIFs. If you can't find the 3D object you need in the library, upload one or search in Google Poly. Type in what you're looking for in the search bar and choose any object you like. Click Video to add videos to your space. Your video file shouldn't be too big in order to ensure short loading times. Your video will play once you play your CoSpace. All the files you've uploaded to your CoSpace can be found under All Files. Under Environment, you can also upload a picture to be placed onto the floor and use a sound file as background sound for your museum. Let's now add a scene to your CoSpace. Open the side menu on the left of your CoSpace. This menu lets you organize the scenes in your CoSpace. To create a new scene, duplicate an existing one or click New Scene. This time, let's create a scene with a 360-degree image. Name your scenes to keep them organized. This will also be helpful when you code your CoSpace. Click Environment to upload a 360-degree image for your scene. Use this button to move your object closer or further away from you. Designing and building your CoSpace is not all you can do. You can also use code to add motion and interactions. CoSpace's EDU's Visual Coding Language CodeBlox is ideal to get started. And if you're already an advanced coder, you can code with scripting languages. Click CodeBlox to start programming your CoSpace. Let's program our animals with sounds so that we can hear them when we click on them. In the CodeBlox toolbox, go to the Events category and get the When Item is Click CodeBlock. To code an object with CodeBlox, click Code and enable Use in CodeBlox. Drag and drop the Play Sound CodeBlock from the Actions category. We need to add a sound for our animal to be heard. Go to Upload and Sound to record directly in CoSpace's EDU or to upload a sound file. Select your sound from the drop-down menu. Let's also make animals switch to a different animation when we click on them. Add the Set Animation code block and choose an animation. We're missing a way to switch back and forth between our scenes. Let's add a Go to Scene code block to program this. As you can imagine, coding can go much further than that. If you want to go deeper into code blocks, watch the code blocks coding tutorials. To see what you've created, click Play and explore your CoSpace. Watch the Exploring with CoSpace's EDU tutorial to learn more.